Today we are checking out Sweden's iconic high-speed train, linking Copenhagen and Stockholm in just over 5 hours, across the magnificent Øresundsbro. We will travel in great comfort in the standard class seats and be taking a look at the onboard offerings. Let's go! Hello and welcome to Københavns Hovedbanegård, the main railway station here in the Danish capital of Copenhagen. Let's head inside the Grand Station building dating back to 1911. This is actually the third iteration of the main station here in Copenhagen, with the original station dating back all the way to 1847. And here we have my favorite feature of the station, which is this model railway. You can get the trains to run around by inserting a two crown Danish coin. And soon they will also take card payments. Nice! However, if that's not your thing, there's still plenty of shops around. Including a supermarket, which probably has the most reasonable prices here at the station. There's not a lot of seating in the concourse, so don't arrive too early. Anyway, let's find out where our train leaves from. Looks like we're headed to platform 5. Be aware that trains to Sweden frequently leave from platform 26, which unlike all the other platforms is located a 15 minute walk away from the concourse at the station's southern end. Unfortunately today's departure to Stockholm turned out to be around half an hour late, due to delays caused by a person being hit by a train in Sweden. This is unfortunately what sometimes can happen on the railways, but not much to do other than watch some trains and wait for the train to arrive. I went up to the northern end of the station and watched one of these beast new Vectra locomotives pull a regional service into the station. These will also be used on the Hamburg service from April 2023, along with some old Deutsche Bahn intercity coaches. And while I went for that little walk, the train showed up. It's one of SJ's X2000 tilting high-speed trains, capable of 200 km per hour in regular service. We just had to wait on the platform for 5 more minutes, while the staff rushed to get the train cleaned for the journey to Stockholm. And here we are, the train is ready for boarding, so let's head on board. I am at the front of today's train in standard class. I'll be sitting in seat 24 today, which I reserved at the time of booking. Speaking of the seat, let's take a look at it. It features a nice wooden sturdy tray table, storage pocket, a cup holder, as well as a Scandinavian bin bag, a wooden armrest. The seats are very plush and comfortable. And underneath you will find a power outlet. One for each seat. These seem very comfortable. Great job, SJ. And shortly afterwards, we were rolling out of the station here in Copenhagen. Right after departing, we had through the junction south of the station for the Øresund Railway, that was built to take the railway from Copenhagen over the island of Amager to the new Øresund Bridge. In addition to the Øresunds link itself, it required construction of a new tunnel here in Copenhagen called the Sydhavnsgade tunnel. After passing through the tunnel, we join with the freight bypass that takes the train from the Øresunds link directly onto the railway lines to the rest of Denmark and Germany. And then we arrive at our first station stop today, which is Copenhagen Airport, which is also the last station in Denmark before we'll go to Sweden. 
which seems like a great time to talk about today's route. Today's train is SJ Snaptok 550 from Københavns Hovedbanegård via Copenhagen Airport and the Øresunds Bridge to Malmø Central. After Malmø, the train stops in Lund, Hesselholm, Alvesta, Nesjø, Tranås, Linkshipping, Norsepping, Sødertalje Syd, and Stockholm Central, with a scheduled journey time of 5 hours and 30 minutes. The distance by rail to Stockholm is 660 kilometers, which gives the train an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour. After departure from Copenhagen Airport, we start the 16 kilometer crossing of the Øresund. The first 4 kilometers is inside Drogten Tunnel. It was constructed in this way to allow even the tallest of tall ships to access the Baltic Sea as well as to not disturb flight paths into Copenhagen Airport. The island in the middle called Piverholm was created artificially, specifically for this purpose to allow for the railway to transition from tunnel into the bridge. The construction began in 1995 with the bridge opening to traffic in 2000 and has strengthened the entire Øresund region, especially with the introduction of fast and frequent trains in the form of Øresund's tow. For the bridge crossing, we run on the lower deck, right below the cars. And shortly after, we have successfully crossed the Øresund Strait. Next up is our first station stop in Sweden, which is Malmö Central Station. Malmö is Sweden's third largest city and is the main city in the Skåne region. We emerge from Malmö city tunnel and are now ready to take the southern main line up to Stockholm. Which is the perfect opportunity for me to show you around the train. We are starting in the unpowered driving trailer, which is today at the front of the train. which is followed by some more standard class seating. If you have large luggage, it can be placed on the rack in the middle. And here again we have some more second class. Roughly in the middle, we find the bistro. It sells drinks, snacks, coffee and prepackaged meals. You just pick yourself here and go and pay at the register. It's certainly not as good as a proper restaurant car, but there's a good selection here of everything. So if you're feeling beggarish, I'm sure you'll find something. We pass through some more second class seating on our way through the train. And next up is probably the weirdest offering on board these X2000 trains. But before we talk about that, we'll have a look at the toilet. It features a nice manual lock, however it was a bit loose. The toilet itself is clean and has a very Scandinavian wooden finish. And despite my inabilities to point the camera down, the water was working perfectly. So good job SJ! And here's the weird quiet zone offering that costs extra but is the same seat that's standard. But also comes with coffee and food but only breakfast. And all the way at the front you will find first class, which has a 2 plus 1 configuration. And on the way back I grabbed a sandwich and a drink from the bistro, and now it's time to kick back, relax and enjoy the final hours up to Stockholm.
And in no time, we are almost in Stockholm. The journey from Copenhagen to Stockholm I purchased about three weeks in advance on the SJ website and they came in at just 437 Swedish crowns. I thought this was really good value for five hours of train travel in a relatively expensive country. Fares on SJ vary a lot and I've seen them as low as 166 Swedish crowns but also above 1000 for this journey, so do book online as soon as possible for the best deal. SJ offers a very competitive service from Stockholm to Copenhagen, running roughly every two hours, and while it may be a little slower than flying, there's certainly better comfort and deals to be had on the train. And here we are rolling into Stockholm Central Station. Despite our delay from Copenhagen, we managed to make up about half of it and are now arriving into Stockholm around 15 minutes late. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Twitter, where I post live from my travels. Thanks for watching.